Hey Fit Mothers, it's Dr. A. I want to welcome you back to this amazing video series where we're featuring Dr. Christian from Motherhood Empowered and we're going through an entire video series on how to help your pelvic floor be healthier. And the pelvic floor are these amazing muscles that sit at the bottom of our pelvis. Every time you know, you've know you really had to go to the bathroom and you're really trying to stop and do that squeeze kind of motion, that's your pelvic floor. When we have sex, the pelvic floor is involved. And these muscles are so overlooked and that's why we wanted to bring in one of the best experts that we know to teach you some amazing things about your pelvic floor. And if you've been struggling with stuff like urinary incontinence, you had kids and stuff stretched out, painful intercourse, or you just feel like you have stress and tension in your body, you wanna learn how to really relax at a deep level, this video is for you. This is part two of our series and we're gonna be getting into some relaxation techniques that involve breathing and certain stretches to really open up the pelvic floor. And Dr. Christian, give us a little rundown on what we're gonna get into today. Yeah, so when women experience pelvic floor symptoms, a lot of times we think that we need to work on strengthening our pelvic floor, when in reality, we probably need to learn to relax our pelvic floor before we can learn to strengthen it. So today we're gonna to talk about a few things to take that step in the right direction of strengthening our pelvic floor um, and having better pelvic floor function. Nice, I'm excited and I'm gonna step out and Coach Kat's gonna come join Dr. Christian and do these demos. And I wanna say as we're going through this, try to go through these exercises, the breathing, the different stretches, like while we're doing this, if possible, we're gonna get the most out of us. High five, let's get into this. Enjoy today's video, my friends. Okay, so we are here to talk about pelvic floor relaxation with Kat. Um, we are gonna go over a few different moves and techniques to help relax our pelvic floor. The first thing we're gonna talk about is what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So breathing is the number one way that you can relax your pelvic floor all throughout your day because you're doing it at all times. So your pelvic floor is a big group of muscles that sits at the bottom of your pelvis. They're kind of like a bowl. This bowl of muscles is holding up all of your internal pelvic or organs, your bladder, your uterus, your rectum, and those muscles have to function properly in order for those organs to function properly. So today we're gonna teach them how to relax. Okay, we're gonna do that by breathing. So I'm gonna have Kat lay on her back. And what you are going to do, you can go ahead and lay on your back at home as well, is you're gonna place your hands on your belly. I want them on your belly, but I also want you to be able to feel your rib cage a little bit. So maybe like your thumbs over your rib cage, your fingers over your belly. And we're gonna work on taking big deep breaths in, okay? Every time you inhale, that air has two places to go, okay? It can go out or it can go down. When that air goes down, it's gonna stretch and relax your pelvic floor. So as we take a big deep breath here, like Kat is going to do, she's gonna inhale and focus on really filling her belly with air, okay? I want you to fill your belly primarily with air, not really your chest, okay? Your chest might move a little bit, but the goal here is to see how much you can fill your belly with air, okay? So go ahead and take a few big deep breaths. Exhale, your belly is gonna fall. Inhale, we'll see it rise. Good, so that air is coming out into her belly. It's also pushing down to her pelvic floor and helping it relax a little bit. We'll do one more breath. Good. So now we're gonna move into a series of stretches. We're gonna do four different stretches. We're gonna incorporate this diaphragmatic breathing while we're doing these stretches. So as we get into these different poses, these are common yoga poses, I'm gonna be giving you cues and giving cat cues on how to continue to do this diaphragmatic breathing in these different poses. So the first one we're going to do is happy baby, so you can stay right here on your back. So you are going to grab the outsides of your feet. I like to have your elbows on the inside of your knees. Yep, outside foot first. Let's grab that inside foot. We're gonna hold this position and work through that same belly breathing. Now, you might feel like, oh, my legs are in the way of my stomach, so it's hard to get a big belly breath. That is okay, that air still has to go somewhere. So in this happy baby position, that air is gonna be pushing more down and out. That is stretching her pelvic floor down. That is helping to relax her pelvic floor. So think about diaphragmatic breathing in the same way you just were on your back, but now we're just in this position so that air is just relaxing different parts of the abdomen and the pelvis. Good, we'll do one more breath. Good, okay, so now we are going to move onto your hands and knees and work through a few stretches here. And the first one we are going to do is cat-cow. So you'll see cat here, She's gonna drop her belly down to the floor and gaze up to the ceiling. During this move, I want you to inhale, okay? So that belly is gonna drop down towards the ground as you take a big deep breath in. Exhale, everything draws up. 
Okay, so you're getting that big relaxation on the way down. Big inhale, let that belly hang down. That is totally fine. And then you'll bring it up, tuck your pelvis, look down. On the exhale, we'll do one more. Inhale, exhale. Good. Okay, now we're gonna move into child's pose. So we'll have you spread your knees just a little bit wider than your hips. Bring your feet together. And then you can just relax your head down towards the ground as you drop your hips. Like Kat's doing here, she's relaxing her head onto the mat or onto her hands. That's totally appropriate. So this is gonna be a stretch just that we hold, okay? So we're gonna hold this through those big deep breaths. And just like um, the last couple of stretches we did, you might feel like your legs are in the way of your belly. That is okay. Here we're gonna practice filling our back with air. So as you can see, it's a lot more subtle than belly breathing. As Kat is breathing, she's actually filling these back muscles with air in her rib cage. Everything should rise up, okay? Another term for diaphragmatic breathing is 360 breathing. What that means is we should be inflating our entire abdomen with air. So you can inflate forward, you can inflate on the sides, and you can inflate the back as well. So you'll see her inflate those back muscles here as she takes those deep breaths. Perfect. So the last position that we're going to do is frog pose. So similar to child's pose, but I'm gonna have her come up and this time we're gonna turn our feet out, okay? In frog pose, I want your feet just to the outsides of your knees, okay? We're stretching our hips into what we call internal rotation. This is a great stretch for your pelvic floor. She's gonna sit back again, relax her head down, similar, similar to child's pose and do the same breathing pattern again, trying to fill these back muscles with air, creating that stretch down on our pelvic floor. All right, good job. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. These stretches and relaxation exercises for the pelvic floor are so important and so overlooked. So I really want to encourage you to start incorporating these into your routine. And I have a couple questions for Dr. Christian to help you do that. So let's say someone right now has a sense that they have some pelvic floor issues. How frequently should they do a routine like this? So I like the breathing exercise as the number one place to start because you are always breathing at all times every day. So this is something that you're definitely doing daily because if you are constantly thinking about being that diaphragmatic breather, that's gonna help you have good pelvic floor function at all times, okay? And then the stretch routine, this is something that you can easily incorporate into every single day. It should only take you about five minutes. It's easy to do morning and evening, but I think at least one time per day working through that routine as well as doing your breathing breathing throughout the day, being conscious of breathing with your belly um, is just a good habit to now develop um, for the rest of your life. I love that. And I'll just mention now that diaphragmatic breathing, we did that in the lying down position, but now that we're standing up here, what I'm kind of focusing on as I'm breathing is all four quadrants are opening up in all areas. And that means I'm kind of breathing through this deep area. And obviously that relaxes the pelvic floor and then everything's just flowing so much better and you're going to feel better. So this will benefit you if you're into exercise and you want to have better performance, your squats, your deadlifts, your core, all of it's going to be so much more integrated. And of course, as you get older and you want to maintain a lot of like intense integrity um, and the proper amount of tone in your pelvic floor. These are really great things. So I hope you enjoyed this. We have another video coming up in this series that you can find on our channel. It may be published now or it may be coming soon, but you'll see it in the series on how to actually do some strengthening exercises. So we started to relax. Now we're gonna do some specific strengthening exercises and not just the regular, do some Kegels kind of thing that you may have heard of. There's some far better exercises that Dr. Christian's gonna show us. So stay tuned for this amazing series. High five, great job. Uh, so happy you're here. And if you like this and you got some value, please comment below and let us know. And you can also find Dr. Christian's stuff in terms of the, where you can find her site and her on social media and all that in the links in the description if you want to connect with her and say thank you for the great video. I know she'd really appreciate that. And then hit the like button if you enjoyed this too. Helps it spread across the interwebs. Thank you, my friends. Dr. A signing off, and I'll see you in the future video in this series.